here with uh, Mitch Stahl following the four set victory over Lewis. Mitch, can you go ahead and just give us your initial impressions of the match tonight? Uh, we did a really good job of coming out strong. Um, our team adjusted really well to them. Uh, their you know, 21 came in and he played really well in the third set. And we had to make some adjustments on him. And we had to do some different things going into set four. We really need to make sure that we could adapt. And we've been a little slow adapting this year um, in some of our matches. And it was really good to see us come out and make that adjustment quickly and stay on top of them and not kind of let them slide and get on some runs. Speaking of substitutions, tell us a little bit about JT Hatch and the, his four aces off the bench yeah. tonight. How big was that for your team? That was huge. I mean, we've got so many guys on this team that can serve the ball. I mean, we got so many ballers, to be honest. I mean, we've got... We like to boast and say we've got the deepest team in the country, and I truly believe that. I mean, we've got the four of the top middles in the country, you know, with Oliver, Sprague, um, Danon, and myself. And then we got four outsides that can come in and ball too. I mean, we got Dylan, JT, Fisher off the bench, Arnitz, you know. I mean, we got studs everywhere. So to have that depth and have that impact on a game is huge because it's probably going to be that here moving forward. It's a playoff atmosphere. It's going to have guys come in and perform. Uh, and JT did a great job. I feel like Oliver Martin might have had a little bit of a coming out match tonight. 8.57 on the match. You ever seen a performance like that, especially from him? <laughs> uh, that's probably the best I've seen him play. I mean, that guy is balling. Um, he's unreal. I mean, the guy is, you know, 6'11". And you think he's a little slow because he doesn't move, like, super quick, but his arm is faster than anyone on the team. People just don't realize that. Like, you have to be up with him before he jumps or else he's going to beat you. I mean, these guys were committing on him all day. He was just teeing off on him. I mean, you couldn't stop him. Personally, what's it feel like coming back from injury? I know it's been a tough year for you. Yeah. Uh, two different, pretty serious injuries. And, you know, just seeing your smile on the court and your passion, I'm, I'm sure it felt pretty good to be back out there with your teammates and your brothers. Yeah, man, it was great. I mean, you said it right there. Being with my brothers is all I care about. And it, you know, hurt me to be out for however many matches I was this year. Um, but I'm back. Uh, my ankle's good. My abs good. Um, I'm stoked to move forward with this team. I think that, you know, we've got a lot of potential. We've lost a lot of really close sets. Um, that I don't think we should have lost, but you know, that's in the past and moving forward. All we can do right now is battle and just keep going game after game. Your serve has been pretty incredible most of the season. What adjustment did you make in the off season that took you from someone who had a dangerous serve to someone who probably has one of the most dangerous weapons in all the country? Uh, you know, our assistant coach Brad Keller helped me out with um, a little bit of my, you know, swing, my swing back and just kind of being loose and relaxed whenever I serve, um, you know, and not being tense because I have a tendency whenever I serve, whenever I swing, you know, to kind of tense up and he was just like, look, man, just pretend like you've been there before, you know, just have that kind of, you know, a little bit of cockiness, you know, I've been there, you know, go up there and just be smooth and just hit it. And it's, it's a rhythmic thing, you know, it's all it is. And we kind of got that dialed in and it's been working out, you know. Moving forward, I know you mentioned it a little while earlier, you guys still aren't fully healthy with Micah still dealing with his back issues, but how dangerous can this team be even if you're not fully healthy moving forward here as we finish the season into the MPSF tournament and then hopefully either get an at-large or winning that MPSF tournament to get into the finals? Yeah, um, I'm partial to this, but I think we're the most dangerous team in the country. I think we've got the most weapons. Um, when we're healthy, even when we're not, I mean, you said it, you know, Arnis has been out for a while. Micah's out now. I've been out for a few matches. And all those matches that we've lost, besides maybe three or four, have been due sets almost every single set. And I mean, whenever we've got three of our starters out, you know, on any given night, and we're still coming out and competing like that, I mean, that says something about our depth. It says something about the way we train every day in practice. And when everyone's back and we kind of get on all cylinders, I mean, I don't see a weak spot, really, you know? Um, and I think that that's our biggest strength is that collectively we do so many really good things each player is so talented um, that we're gonna be deadly once we get hot here Mitch once again congratulations on the performance tonight it's great to have you back on the court thanks for taking the time for off the block blog and have a great evening man absolutely thanks